Hi, I'm Tia. So you're new, huh? I'm always new. Wow, it sucks. Yep, it does. Here's what you gotta know about Lincoln Junior High. Tuesdays sounds very steak. You're gonna wanna bring a lunch that day. Oh, and stay away from those guys. Why are you telling me all this? Because everybody needs a friend. See you then. Suck up. Hey. Tia told you I was a punk. Huh. Tia. She's just mad because I broke up with her. Chicks. They play, man. One day, someone's gonna teach her a lesson. So let's try this again. Hey, I'm Peebo. I'm Ben. Hey, you wanna chill tonight? Cool. Dude, poor Golden is clueless. He's in. What are we doing here? We're having fun. You know how to have fun, right? Try me. Wanna try? Sure. No, I'll try it again. Well, this is pretty cool. I like that. Hey, Tyler! Tag the walls! Good. You hungry? Why? Restaurant. They keep all the food in the freezer. Hey, Ben. Dude, wait! Hey! Let me out! What an idiot. Let me out! Nothing compared to grand theft. I didn't steal anything. Then where's the thousand dollars from the cash register? I didn't take it. Then give me names. Have it your way. Sit down. My family's restaurant, then. Hi, Mom. There's a summons. It's all in there. In the car now. All rise for the Honorable Judge Green. Be seated. Good morning, Benjamin. Hi. You move around a lot, huh? Uh, we've we've had to. Um, but I'm in, I'm in school now, night classes. I'm studying to be a nurse, and I'm a waitress, and I've just taken on a part-time job. Which explains why there's no adult around to keep Benjamin from committing multiple felonies. I'm trying the best that I can. The sentencing guidelines say you should go to juvenile detention for three to five years. Five years? Don't talk about it. Did you think you'd be going to Disneyland? Now, I get the feeling that you'd be trading some bad friends for a set of even worse ones. So, what to do? Where's Benjamin's father? 
The last contact I had with him was the day that he left. Um, I was pregnant and he didn't, he had other plans. Any other family? No, well, my, my father, but. Benjamin, how do you and your grandfather get along? They've uh, never met, Your Honor. Ever? No, Your Honor. That's unfortunate. He and I don't get along. Is your father a convicted felon? No. A drug addict, alcoholic? No, Your Honor, he's a farmer. Uh, he, he lives in Summit Town in Iowa. Uh, when was the last time you spoke? Since right before Ben was born. It seems to me that if you had someone to look after Benjamin, you could concentrate on school. Maybe even graduate early. Yes, Your Honor. Here's the choice. Benjamin spends three years in juvenile detention or three months in Iowa. mistakes, Ben. It's just that some people never let you live them down. What does that mean? Never mind. One day you'll understand. Alright, come on. Dad? You're late. This is your grandson, Ben. To go to the bathroom? What? Do you have to go to the bathroom? No. Why you got your pants down there? Because I like it like that. It's my style. I'm not going in there. Oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. There's something wrong with that guy. He's your grandfather. You can't make me. Oh, really? Want to watch me? that for? I didn't even do anything wrong and you're going to beat me? Here, put that on. Put your pants up. My house, my rules. This ain't summer vacation. You okay with that? Yeah. that you didn't have a father, okay? And maybe that is why I have been way too easy on you. But that's what they're like, okay? So you're just gonna deal with it. So that's why you are the way you are, Mom. So Dad's a redneck, gun-toting jackass. You watch your mouth. Do you realize if I had ever spoken to him that way, do you know how far he would've put his boot up? All right, no, no, I dare you, I dare you. You talk to him like that, you see what happens. Give me your cell phone. Now! Get back to the end of the summer, maybe. Now get in there! You behave yourself, no more sass. I think so. Good. Because nothing's changed. Get your back. Come on. It's exactly like I left it.
So what? I just figured he would have gotten rid of all my stuff. Okay. Can you promise me one thing while you're here? Try to think of someone else besides yourself. It's not all about you. What's not all about me? Life. I love you, okay? All right, get ready for bed. Say goodbye. Please be good to your grandfather. Yeah, right. Well, it's 5 30 a.m. for all you late risers in central Iowa. The National Weather Service is saying get your irrigation boots and slickers on. Or get yourself indoors around 4 this afternoon. Because we're probably going to have more of those giant thunder. What? Where's mine? I'm not your cook. You want breakfast, you make it yourself. What? I can't make anything. I believe you. No, fine, I'll just have cereal. No, you won't. Why not? Because I don't have any. I hate cereal. Then what am I supposed to eat? What do you eat at home? Hot pockets, pizza rolls, you know, anything I can nuke. Nuke? There's a microwave right behind you. Fine. How about it? Fine. Okay, a dozen eggs, four potatoes, chow down. Clean that up, and um, when you're through, meet me outside. We have work to do. Last one and catch it. Why? Dinner. Pockets and pizza rolls. How are they working out for you? Uh, uh, ah! Mow this. But I'm only here for like three months. Better get started then.
What are those for? Apparently, your grades suck. Summer school starts now. Sack. We got an early day tomorrow. We're going into town. Really? Why? Because you need a friend. on the inside that counts. Now this is a farm dog. They've got big hearts. Sit. Up. Speak. Come. Be smart. And uh, he'll look after you. I thought that was your job. I'm your grandfather, not your friend. But I've never had a dog before. It's okay. He's had a boy before. Somebody taught him. Then we should try to find his owner. <laughs> There's four million acres of farmland in Iowa. Good luck. Hey, Jack. Smitty. <laughs> Need a dog collar and a leash. Who's that? My grandson, Ben. Ben, this is Mr. Smith. Look, my friends call me Smitty. Smitty. Uh -huh. You call him Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith? Come in. Give me five. Oh, hey, hey. Ooh, I like this kid. There you go. We'll need a name tag, too. What you gonna name him? Huh? What do you want to name him? You know what? I don't even want this dog. You're the one who made me get him, so you should name him. Fine. This will be his name, and you can come up with something better. Dog? <laughs> D-O-G. <laughs> you straight? Oh, no, 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 no. That is a genuine antique. <laughs> Pick up the stuff, kid. Carpal tunnel syndrome of the feet. Can you get carpal tunnel syndrome in the feet? Um, no, you can't, but what you got is plantar fasciitis. See, there's a long, flat ligament on the bottom of the foot, and when it gets stretched improperly, like from waitressing all day, it gets inflamed. Just ice it and rest, you'll be fine. 
I feel like some kind of doctor. No, I'm actually like some kind of nurse. Well, I will be anyway. What is that? Is not funny. It's not funny. Amanda, what's wrong with you? You know, and Ben and Ben's with his grandfather, right? Mm -hmm. Right. When was the last time you've been on a date? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't know. You know, Ben is 13, so... 13, 13 years? I like my life. Ben and me were doing just fine. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at me. You're smart, big deal. You're not mine, I don't like you, so stay away from me! Time to get to work, Ben. Dog, here's watchdog. Watch him, don't let him slack off. Keep him out of trouble, and stick to him like glue. All right? Okay. You can't make him follow me, that's not fair. There's at Fort Dodge. Oh, my mom says that all the time. She does? Really? Yeah, it's stupid. I don't even know what it means. Of course you don't. Let me know when you figure it out. Fine, you can follow me. It's just some stupid dog. It's not like you can tell on me. Oh, you sure can. He's a farm dog. He's the eyes in the back of my head. School of Life, Ben. Class is in session. Ever. Did my mom have to do this when she was my age? Yeah. She didn't whine about it, though. I'm not his cook. If he wants food, he can make it himself. He's a farm dog, right? Someone told me they were smart. He's smarter than some people I know, but he don't have thumbs, so make him dinner.
real silver. I can see that. What happened to the nameplate? Fell off. Silver's worth at least a grand. How many times have you been in here? Let me tell you something. Nothing left is worth anything if you don't work for it. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call the police. You got 10 minutes. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Yes, I do. Now you got nine minutes. Cool, man. We'll be back. We got a lot of nice things in here. Dog? How did you? Your dog? Not really. Bites me is gonna be the worst day of his life. Out of my way, mutt. Hey! I don't want to ever see you in this place again, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Who were those guys? They're just some kids. They want what they want when they want it, and they want it now, and they're ready to steal for it. Those boys are on the road to nowhere, and you don't want to be on it. Trust me. So now, tell me, man, what can I do for you? I want to see that guitar. Guitar? All right. Coming right up. Beautiful Gibson. Do you play? No. I want to learn, though. Whose was it? Uh, name's on the back. Lightning Litz? Ben! How'd you know where I was? What are you doing, Smitty? What? Don't want me. You're giving him the guitar. I'm not gonna give this kid a guitar. If he wants a guitar, he's gonna pay for the guitar. He gets that he wanted to see a guitar. It's a good guitar. Let him see the guitar. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But he doesn't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? No, he doesn't know what we're talking about. I don't think much about it either. Ain't your decision. Look. I want it. How much you want for the guitar? I'll let it go for $700. Pretty decent. Man. I don't have $700. Didn't your mama leave you with some money? Yeah, 20 bucks for the whole summer. You're a tad light, Miss Kitty. <laughs> but I want it. So what? Buy it for me. What? Because I want it. <laughs> and you think that just because you want something, Somebody should give it to you. Duh. What kind of grandfather are you anyway? What'd you say? You missed 13 Christmases, Easter's, and birthdays. I figure that adds up to a lot more than $700. Are you invoicing me? Exactly. Boy, you got a big mouth for being such a little man. If you want to know why I missed 13 Christmases, 13 birthdays, 13 Easter's, ask your mama. No wonder my mom hates you. You're a jerk. If I said that to my old man when I was your age, I wouldn't be able to sit down for a week. Lucky me, I don't have a dad. You want the guitar? Wow, you're gonna earn it. Smitty? You need some help at my place? Uh, I can pay the kid, uh, well, 10, eight, seven, Five, five. Five dollars an hour, you get a whole lot. Are we talking this stuff? Yes, the stump. Man, you ain't never gonna get that stump out of there. And I'm going to finish at this time. I'm not one of those people who will never finish what they start. All right, that's it. Dog, take him out to the truck. I'll see that he arrives at your place really early. I know you will. Uh-oh, your boyfriend's back. He's asked Maureen to seat him in your section. Oh, now he's going to 
time to look at the menu mm -hmm. while looking for <laughs> you. Oh, here comes the smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you know you can do that? He does it every time he comes in. There are like 50 better restaurants within two blocks of this place, but he's here every day. You take my table, Stevie. Sure, he's cute. Oh, find another guy. Here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna order 30 minutes worth of food, yeah. all right? Yeah. That should give you enough time to work up the guts to ask out the pretty waitress. The waitress will be right over. All right, here she comes. Showtime, Tiger. Could we just not with the tiger thing, please? Hello, Amanda. Hello. I would like the double stack, please, with extra mayo, the uh, side of bacon cheese fries, the personal pan pizza with uh, sausage, mushrooms, onions. Do you have the pimentos? Never mind. Chicken fingers with the side of ranch, and the French dip with the jus on the side. Oh, and a uh, Diet Coke. And for you? My name is Russell. I think you're really pretty. I would love your phone number. Oh, my. Amanda. Um, are you a professional musician? Uh, no. I'll call you. Stop staring at me. <laughs> what are you gonna do, fight me if I don't do my homework? <laughs> Just so you know, I didn't like you, I didn't want you, and now I hate you. Listen to me. I got pigs that have more manners than you. When you want something, you say, please. When you're given something, you say, thank you. Manners. They put a smile on your face. Why? Because I said so. Thank you. There you go. Come on. I would think so. Yep. You want that guitar? That's how you'll get it. One shovel full at a time. <laughs> Smitty. Jack. Dog, don't let him slack off. What time are you picking me up? I'm not. But that's like two miles. Three. But what if I'm tired? You will be. <laughs> Shut up, stupid dog. <laughs> 
should have gone to Judy. Picture of sweet iced tea in the chair and listen to a baseball game. It was my favorite thing. All of a sudden, pow! Lightning took the whole tree down. That sucks. Yeah, well, you see that tree over there? I grew that tree from a seed from this tree here. I'm gonna plant it right here as soon as I get rid of this. You're gonna plant in the same place that the lightning hit the big tree? Sure. Lightning never strikes twice in the same place. But what if it did? Well, that's a message from the big man upstairs. You better listen and do what he says. If that happened, I would pay attention if I was you. So, what's up with the thing about you and my grandpa? You know, about the guitar? Uh, well, uh, you better ask your grandfather about that. Like he's really gonna give me an answer. I mean, all he ever says is, get to work and I'm not your cook. He hates me. No, no, no. Your grandpa loves you. Just an old dog who's set in his way. But I kind of feel that he's trying to make up for something. Why? Oh, look at this. It's quitting time. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. You're welcome. See you tomorrow, Mr. Smith. Come on, dog. What are we doing here? He's got all that nice stuff at the antique shop. Can you imagine what he's got at his house? Oh, he's home, man. Isn't that that kid? Yeah. You know what? Forget about the house. Why? I got a better idea.
Hey, kid. What's your name? Ben. Sorry about the other day. How about we start over? I'm Carl. This is Austin. This is Travis. What are you doing? Um, going to work. <laughs> work? Dude, you're a kid. There's laws against that. We're going to the lake. You want to come? Yeah, I want to, but I got to get to Mr. Smith's house, so I can't today. City kid, listen, this is the country. The clock works a lot slower out here. Everyone knows it, and it's cool. If you're a few hours late, nobody's going to care. Come on, it'll be fun. Yeah, oh, come on. <laughs> You do know how to have fun, don't you? Yeah, why not? Uh, dude, no mutts in my truck. What is he, your babysitter? All right. Sit, stay. Supposed to be my wash dog. But you don't have to be anymore. Because you're my dog now. So, you are supposed to do as I say. And what I say is sit and stay. City boy? Yeah. Boom, fish, right? You did good for your first time. Want to do it again? Yeah, but I gotta go. See you guys. You five hours late. Yeah, but it's cool, right? Because, you know, the clock out here runs slower. My watch, right on time. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Talk to your grandpa? He wouldn't tell me anything. Well, your grandpa. He's a different kind of man, you know. Uh, pretty big man back in the day. Used to play great guitar. He did? Yep. Played lots of places. And one night, a man came to watch him play. Offered him a recording contract. Told him he was going to take him to the city. And make him a star. I never heard of him. Because on that very same night, he met the most beautiful woman he'd ever seen in his life. And that was your grandma. Well, she was a country girl. She couldn't be running around the big city all that time. He didn't want to leave her out of sight. So he had a decision to make. He decided to stay home and by far. He had a choice. And he chose family. Shows character. Oh, looks like we get 
into a storm. Oh, hey, come here, quick, 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 quick. Weather's dream. Thought I'd come and get you early. Oh, I uh, I went to fishing in the pond this afternoon. My Ben was working. I'm having a fish fry tonight. You're welcome to come. Ranch shack, Smitty. Huh? All right. We gotta go. Good looking out. Out to the people. <laughs> Where's dog? first year in college at the top of her class then she uh, she met him lightning blitz a musician like her old man and she threw it all away she ran off with him the same week that your grandmother passed on and I couldn't find her for weeks she got pregnant when it came time for her boyfriend to choose between family and himself, he chose himself. But that was her mistake. Yeah, my mistake. It was when she tried to come back. I took all the pain of losing my wife and my daughter running away. I told her that she had ruined everything. I told her I didn't want to see her again. I turned my back on my own daughter. You did that? Yeah. 
dude, I'm only 13 and I've done really bad things, but that's like the worst thing I've ever heard. Really bad? No, 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 no. That's really, really bad. I know. I've never even done anything half that bad. I know. You know, I feel better now, because compared to you, I'm not so bad. So thanks for telling me, Grandpa. You're welcome. All right, get to bed. I'll take your milk. Ben. Yeah? Get your jacket. You need a milkshake. Sorry, when did you get here? Uh, at seven, like you said. You've been waiting for me for three hours? You didn't get my text? Um, I left my phone at the office. Oh, wow, that is so sweet. We're desperate. Yeah, it's probably a little bit of both. <laughs> Wait, you brought me ice cream? Well, it, well, it was ice cream. Um, now it's a little more like a lab experiment. Aw. Gee, I'm totally messing this up, aren't I, already? It's been a long time since I've been on a date. I bet it's been longer for me. No way. How long has it been? No, it's too embarrassing. Okay, we'll say it at the same time. Ready? One, two, Thirteen eight months. Thirteen years? That is just not true. It is. No, you? Thirteen years. No way. Is that a compliment? Yeah, it's a compliment. I figured guys would be hitting on you all the time. I don't know. I push him away. So, what do you do, Russell? Well, actually, Sorry, I am... Sorry, hang on a second here. Is everything okay? I missed a call. Everything all right? <sighs> My dad called. Oh, well, that's nice. No, it... He only would have called if there's something wrong with my son, Ben. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go. I'll drive you. No, it's an all-night drive. Well, I can't let you do that by yourself. You can't let me? I didn't need that way. I'm just saying it's, it's already late, and it's a long drive. We'll get coffee. Get to know each other a little better. You owe me three hours. I guess you're right. All right. All right. Come on. I got my driver's license and everything. Yeah. <laughs> And the rambling hearts? He could have been a star.
you doing here? What's wrong? What? Nothing. You called me. Yeah. So what's wrong? I, um, just wanted to talk. Where's Ben? In the kitchen. Awkward. Ben! Mom? What are you doing here? Oh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Who's he? Hi, I'm Russell. Who's he? Oh, that's my dog. Dog. Oh, that's a really cool name. No, really, I've heard much worse. Anyways, are you guys hungry? Because I made plenty of food. Sure, a long drive. Sure. This looks delicious, honey. Thanks. You did all this yourself? Yeah, dig in. Come on, dog. Hey, Ben, hold on. I was going to do this tomorrow, but because your mother's here, we're going to do it today. We're going to take a day off. Seriously? Yes. We're going to have some fun. I know how to have fun. Russell? Yeah? Can you hang with Ben and Dog for a little while? I really should talk to my father. Sure, absolutely. I can definitely do that. Absolutely. Okay, thanks. And, um... Relax, you're doing great. Okay. Got it. Okay. How many tickets do you want? 150. 150? Yeah. You can write it right in here like 25 times if you do that. Exactly. You know, this. This used to be my favorite thing that we would ever do when I was a kid. You used to take me here one day a year for the fair, watch me ride all the rides and buy me cotton candy and hold my hand all day. I remember. I do. I want to ask you a question. Am I a jerk? <laughs> Maybe a little. You hurt me. You really hurt me. You see, I had I had this dream about what you'd be to me. My little girl left me. And when she came back, I I was just so angry and sad I, I couldn't look her in the face. Dad, do you have any idea how hard it was for me for those 13 years? I had to do everything alone without having... I know I made a really big mistake. I know that. But that is no mistake. Best thing that ever happened to me. I love him with all of my heart and all of my soul. And Dad, I love you for helping him. All right, Dad. Okay. Um, that was a good talk. Good. And uh, oh, was you here? Yes, Daddy. Boy, I sure would like some of that cotton candy. I think I can wrangle some of that up.
told Ben that roller coasters were not my thing. So why did you go on so many of them? A shameless blackmail. <laughs> but mostly because he wanted to. Thank you. No problem. He really likes you. I can tell. And I do too. So, Rusty. Uh, actually, it's Russell, sir. Oh, Russell. What exactly do you do for a living? Uh, actually... Hey, Russell, should we hit the road? Sure. You take care of my girl. Sure will. Sure will. Hey, Ben, it was great to meet you, even though you got me sick. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. I'll uh, have the shirt sent to you. Thank you so much. Bye, sir. Hey, Dad. You were wrong. About uh, what? Everything's changed. I love you, Ben. See you in a couple weeks. Well, time to get to work. Come on, dog. Does you want a ride? Nah, I'm leaving early. I should be good. Yep. Thanks for taking me to the fairground. Uh, you're welcome. I'll pick you up at the same time. Well, did it. Come on, dog. Taking a break. We're almost done. And it'll keep. So how much you got so far? Six hundred and eighty dollars. All right. This stump can wait till tomorrow. There you go. You go into town and pick up your guitar. You earned it. And you remember, always finish what you start. Thanks, Mr. Smith. What the, Mr. Smith? We're friends now. It's Smitty. 
Okay, Smitty. There you go. Get out, get out, go, go. <coughs> Stick the money in the register. Okay, I will, Smitty. Okay, Mr. Stone. This is you and me now. Let's get out of here. Stop it. What are you going to do about it? Please stop. Don't hurt him. Wait. I have money. It's $700. Give me back my dog. Travis, get the money. Give me back my dog. It's a mud anyways. You tell anyone about this, we'll kill your dog, and then we'll kill you.
okay? How long do dogs live? Oh, um, 10 or 12 years. Well, how old do you think dog is? Oh, uh, about four. So I have about eight years left with him, and that's it? Try thinking about it this way. Every year for us is seven years for dog. So, 56 years? Is that how long he's gonna live? Could be. Hmm. 56 years. Thanks, Grandpa. You bet. Thomas will be best friends forever. Worth at least seven hundred dollars. Well, call the police. Tell them you've got a man in your store with a gun. I get it now. I gotta go finish what I started. For Smitty, Anthony, you stay here, dog. Grandpa, you got somewhere to go, and you can't say no. Twice. He's trying to tell you something. You better listen. He's right. Okay, you're gonna drive. What? It's just like the lawnmower. When I say go, you stop on that gas. Yeah? Okay. Let's get this done.
Grandpa. I love you, man. <laughs> He's a farm dog, right? He doesn't know anything about cities. Traffic, stoplights, they don't mean anything to him. So never take him off his leash. Yes, sir. I'll take care of him. I'll call you as much as I can, Grandpa. Good. Come on. Here's your phone back. You earned it. Thanks, Mom. Now I'm going to call you every day. All right. <laughs> oh, Ben. I almost forgot. What's that? That's your $700. It's a lot of money, Dad. You earned every dollar of it. Thanks, Grandpa. You're welcome. Thanks for everything, Dad. You bet. After that, every day. This is where my mom works. Food's good, and it's free. And this is where I got into a lot of trouble, which is weird because if I didn't, then I never would have met you. Part-time job to pay the rest when I can. I hope you guys can accept my apology. Thank you. Hey, you want to go play at the park? <gasps> cool. Cause I have something to tell you. You want to know what it is? A loser. What's the rumors about? Don't flatter yourself. You're an idiot. Sit, stay. I'm gonna be right back, so you have nothing to worry about. Stay there. We're gonna settle this. Leave her alone! Hey! I said leave her alone! Hey, convict, how was Juvie? I didn't go to Juvie, and neither did you because I kept my mouth shut. You were the guys that trashed my family's restaurant? Heck no. He's alive. Come on, Tio, I'll walk you. She ain't going nowhere with you. You walk away, Juvie. Come on. Let her go or I'll tell the police everything. Farm dog, he knows nothing about the city. I'm so glad you came. How bad is it? I don't know yet. Huh. You're a doctor. I'm a veterinarian. Good. Very good. 
How's dog? He's pretty bad, but I try to make him as comfortable as possible. Where's Ben? He's in the back with the dog. You just follow me. How long has he been there? For hours since before I called you. He won't leave his side. God, I know that lightning strikes twice and bad things happen, but it wasn't his fault. And I'm asking you for a favor, a really big one. And I know I don't deserve it, but he got hurt because he's my dog and he loves me. And I love him. Promise that we be friends forever. And if you die, you can't be. You're the best and only true friend that I've ever had. figured out a name for you. I hope you like it. Smitty. You've done all that you can do. Baby. We should let him rest now. It's a miracle. We need to watch him carefully and check his progress, but I think he's going to be just fine. So, this is it. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? Oh, darling, I'm so proud of you. Give me a hand. Your mother would have been so proud. Thank you, Caddy. Hey, Ben. Saturday, 8 a.m. I'll be there. Thanks for the job, Russell. What job? Uh, it's just part time. It's a great experience, Mom, because, you know, I'm thinking about being a veterinarian. Okay. That's great, sweetheart. Thank you, Russell. No problem. He's a great kid. Yes, he is. Look what I found. Where did you get this? Well, when the police were done with it, they gave it to me. Now it's yours. <laughs> and here's lesson number one. We should play. Oh, no. Will you get up there and play, please? Only if Ben comes out to play with me. Uh -oh. It's open mic night at Stella's. Come on, Ben. Who's next? You can do it. You can do it. Who's coming up? Yeah, that's cool.